During bug bounty hunting on large scopes, we don't have the time to perform MMAP scans. This is where Nabu shines. A fast and accurate port scanner. In this video we will show you how to use Nabu, how to passively scan and how to use it to perform faster MMAP scans. Nabu, developed by Project Discovery, is an open source network reconnaissance tool used by cybersecurity professionals to discover and enumerate devices and services within a network. Operating with speed and precision, Nabu scans network ranges, probing for open ports, identifying services and providing valuable insights into your security. Before we can get started, Nabu is not installed by default on Kali Linux and can be installed using the go install function. We can find the exact command and more information about Nabu on its GitHub page. Now that we've installed Nabu, let's take a quick look at how to get the most out of it. Before we do this though, we have to bring to your attention that this tool should only be used on systems that you own. Please ensure to hack ethically. The easiest way to use Nabu is by supplying a URL to it. This will start a port scan on the top 100 most popular ports. One of the nice features of Nabu is that we can supply the URL in several methods. We can either supply a list of URLs using the L flag, or we can pipe input into Nabu by echoing a hostname to it. This function allows us to use Nabu in a chain of applications. This can be handy if we quickly want to scan a target and perform subsequent actions on it with other tools such as Nuclei. Let's see what Nabu exactly sends over the network when we scan an example target for open ports. To do this, we started a TCP dump to capture the data that is sent from our system to the example system. One of the features of Nabu is the passive scan functionality. This will query the showdown database for information about the target. By using the passive flag, we can enable this function. When we run the application, but with the passive flag, we can see there's no outgoing request to the example domain. This is because with passive mode, we do not scan the target, but query a database for the results. If you like what you've seen so far, press the like button. This tells us you like this kind of content. One of the other handy features of Nabu is that it's able to scan for open ports and then automatically start an MMAP scan on the ports it found. This can save a lot of time when pen testing or bug bounty hunting on a large scale. To do this, we add the nmap CLI flag followed by an nmap command. The command has to be encapsulated by quotation marks and it needs to include the full executable of nmap. It does not need the host and ports because it will obtain those from Nabu. When we run it, we can see that Nabu first does the initial scan. Once it's completed that scan, it will run nmap. This, as you can see, can save us a lot of time during bug bounty hunting and penetration testing. Using Nabu's full feature set in combination with other project discovery tools, it becomes a powerful tool in your reconnaissance tool chain. If you learned anything, please like the video, subscribe and leave a comment about what you've learned. It will really help us in the YouTube algorithm. Thank you for watching and hack ethically.